Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Chemviz. In this video, we are going to discuss IUPAC nomenclature of ketones. There are certain basic rules which we should keep in mind while naming ketones. These rules are First is regarding parent chain. In a molecule with one carbonyl group, it is the longest carbon chain including carbonyl carbon. In a molecule with two carbonyl groups, it is the carbon chain including both the carbonyl groups. And in a molecule with greater than two carbonyl groups, carbonyl carbons may or may not be included in the parent chain. If all are in the same chain, then all are included. If not, all are not included. Second is regarding numbering of parent chain. Numbering is done in such a way that gives lowest possible number to ketonic carbon. Third point is regarding structure of IUPAC name. For compounds with one carbonyl group, it is substituents, name of parent hydrocarbon without E, position of keto group, and then own. For compounds with greater than one carbonyl groups, it is substituent, name of parent hydrocarbon, position of carbonyl groups separated by comma, Numerical prefixes like di, tri, tetra, penta, etc. to indicate the number of keto groups in the molecule and then own. Now let's go through examples. We will start with very simple ketones containing 3 and 4 carbon atoms. These are simply named as alkane plus own is equal to alkanone. So the IPAC name of 3 carbon ketone is propanone and that of 4 carbon is butanone. 4 carbon ketone may also contain alkenyl or alkynyl groups. They are respectively named as butenone and Butinone. One thing which is to be noted here is that in these examples it is not necessary to mention the position of keto group because the position is non ambiguous. Let's have the example of bigger molecule compound A. Here we will go step by step. Parent chain. In this molecule, this longest chain with 7 carbon atoms containing carbonyl group is parent chain. Numbering of parent chain. Numbering will start from the end giving lower number to the ketonic carbon. So, numbering will be from right to left as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 name a parent hydrocarbon. Since the parent chain has seven saturated carbon atoms, so it will be named as heptane. Substituents. There are two substituents, an ethyl at C4 and a methyl at C3. So they will be written in alphabetical order as 4-ethyl, 3-methyl. Position of carbonyl carbon. It is 2. As we know, IPAC name consists of substituents, name a parent hydrocarbon without E, position of keto group, and then own. Putting all these informations in order will give IPAC name of this molecule as 4 ethyl 3 methyl heptane 2 own. Compound B Parent chain. In this molecule, this longest chain with 8 carbon atoms containing carbonyl group is the parent chain. 
numbering of parent chain numbering will be from right to left as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 name of parent hydrocarbon since the parent chain has 8 carbon atoms with an alkene at C7 so it will be named as oct 7 in substituents there are two substituents a chloro at C5 and a methyl at C4 so they will be written in alphabetical order as 5 chloro 4 methyl position of keto group it is 3 IPAC name substituents name of parent hydrocarbon without E position of carbonyl group and own putting all these informations in order will give the IUPAC name of this molecule as 5 chloro 4 methyl oct 7 en 3 own compound C parent chain in this molecule this carbon chain with six carbon atoms containing both the carbonyl groups is the parent chain numbering of parent chain both the sides of numbering will give the same number to the ketonic carbons but right to left numbering will be the correct numbering because this gives lower number to the substituted carbon name of parent hydrocarbon since there are six carbon atoms so it will be named as hexane substituent there is an ethyl group at C3 so it will be written as 3 ethyl positions of keto groups it is 2 and 5 numerical prefix since there are two keto groups so numerical prefix will be di IUPAC name consists of substituent name of parent chain position of carbonyl groups numerical prefix and then own so the IPAC name of this molecule will be 3 ethyl hexane 2 5 diol compound D in this molecule there are three keto groups but only two are the part of parent chain while third acts as a substituent parent chain this longest carbon chain with eight carbon atoms containing two keto groups is the parent chain numbering a parent chain the correct numbering will be from left to right as it gives lower number to the substituted carbon so the numbering will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 like this name of parent chain since there are eight carbon atoms with only cc single bonds so it will be named as octane substituent there is a uh, one oxoethyl group at c4 so it will be written as 4 1 oxoethyl position of keto group 2 and 7 numerical prefix since there are two keto groups in parent chain so the numerical prefix will be di IPAC name substituent name of parent chain positions of keto groups numerical prefix and then own so it will be 4 1 oxoethyl octane 2 7 diol compound E this molecule contains both the aldehyde and a keto group in such cases aldehyde takes priority over ketone and ketonic oxygen is treated as a substituent called oxo parent chain this is the parent chain with seven carbon atoms 
numbering a parent chain numbering will start from aldehyde so it will be from right to left as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 like this name a parent carbon chain it is heptane substituents there are three substituents a chloro at c5 a methyl at c4 and an oxo at c6 so they will be written as 5 chloro 4 methyl 6 oxo ipac name it will be obtained by putting substituents name of parent chain without e and then al so it will be 5 chloro 4 methyl 6 oxo heptanal compound f this is an example of cyclic ketone parent ring this six carbon ring is parent ring numbering a parent ring here numbering starts from the ketonic carbon giving lowest possible number to the first substituted carbon so the clockwise numbering will be the correct one so the numbering will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. Name a parent hydrocarbon. It is cyclohexane. Substituents. There is a chloro group at C2 and a methyl at C3. So they will be written as 2-chloro-3-methyl. Position of ketonic carbon. By default it is 1. So, there is no need to mention IPAC name. It will be substituents name of parent carbon without E and then own. So, it will be 2 chloro 3 methyl cyclohexanone. Compound G. This is also an example of cyclic ketone. Parent ring. In this also the 6 carbon ring is the parent ring. Numbering a parent ring. Numbering starts from the ketonic carbon and then giving lowest possible number to the unsaturated carbon atom. So the clockwise numbering will be the correct numbering. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this name of parent hydrocarbon it is cyclohex 2 e since there is a cc double bond at position 2 substituents there is a hydroxymethyl group at c2 and a methyl at c3 so they will be written as 2 hydroxymethyl 3 methyl position of ketonic carbon by default it is 1 so there is no need to mention IPC name will be substituents name a parent hydrocarbon without E and then own so it will be 2 hydroxymethyl 3 methyl cyclohex 2 enone that's all in this video Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.